a very good example of what a black man should be. Salute to LeBron James. And I simply took issue with the fact that they allowed their son to go on a prom with a white girl. Wait a minute. Who are you? So today we got a little video from the pro black God, Dr. Umar Johnson Cthulhu. Now, I'm sure y'all already seen everybody going crazy about who LeBron James' son dating. You know what I'm saying? They seen him go to the prom with a white woman, a little 17, 18 year old boy, and they said, This is a fucking disgrace. He needs to be deleted from his earth. LeBron James needs to be stripped from his wealth. He is not a great father because he's allowing his son to go to prom with a white woman. Some of that wasn't said. But basically, they didn't like the shit. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. God damn, I thought my shit was breaking. This is the notorious one. The notorious RBG. This is King Kong consciousness. This is the most requested and influential black scholar in the world. This is the number one orator of the 21st century, the number one school psychologist of all time. This is he. And they sound like when the anime villains be popping in and being like, I'm the strongest in the fucking universe. Nobody's stronger than me. I am destroyer of worlds. Your puny mind never could understand. I am Frieza, the most powerful being in the universe. And you are nothing but a beast, a fragile animal. You can't win. Because I am mighty, and you are not. I was not planning to go live today. I was not planning to go live today. I was not planning to go, to live, go live today. To go live today. I got it, nigga. I got it. Fuck. I got it. Salute to LeBron James. Very good example of what a black man should be. And I simply took issue with the fact that LeBron James... Let his son, young Bronny, shout out to Bronny, shout out to Savannah, shout out to the whole family. They allowed their son to go on the prom with a white girl. Why? What's the problem? Why can't a young 17, 18 year old boy go to a prom with a non-black woman? That doesn't mean that he's going to marry this woman and have kids with this woman. Even if he does, what is the problem? I don't understand. I think it was even known that LeBron James, when he was in prom, he went with a white woman. But LeBron James is now married to a black woman and clearly had black kids. These are all man-made constructs to separate us and divide us. And all these categories of things, all it does is make it harder for us to come together and just realize we're all humans. Some of us like certain things, some of us like other things. But to sit here and act like LeBron James let his son go to prom with a white woman is an issue is crazy. It's 2022. It's not like the majority of black dudes or black women are with white men or other races. The majority of races are still within their race. Like if that white woman treating Bronny good, if Bronny treat her good, they chemistry great, what's the problem? The funny part is, although all these people got problems with Bronny, LeBron James' son, going to the prom with a white woman, I'm sure it's a good chance that her family feel the same way about her going to the prom with a black dude, AKA Bronny. So it's not like it's just a one way street, but when you see that nobody can come together and just be like, wait a minute, these are just two young people that like each other that's going to prom, that is how this stupid ass racism type shit keeps getting perpetuated further and it can't go away because of people that think like this. I disagreed with it. I thought it was irresponsible for LeBron James to do that. LeBron James occupies a position of respect and influence in our community. I thought it, been one, I thought it would have been one heaven of a message had Bronny James went on that prom with a black girl. Now, many in the celebrity community came to LeBron James's defense because they, just like LeBron James used to have, or maybe Bronny has now, Shannon Sharp has, snow bunny fever. You think anybody give a damn about a LeBron James' son went to prom with a black woman? Like, that's really going to sway other people. It'd be like, yeah, LeBron James' son went to, to prom with a black woman, so you know what? I'm going to go to prom with a black woman. 
they either are or they're not. I'm pretty sure other people are not sitting here thinking about it the way this man is making it seem. If you like this person, y'all vibe, y'all got good chemistry, y'all treating each other right, y'all like each other, obviously, you gonna go to prom with this woman. Now, I won't act like it is a subsection of dudes that feel like, or dudes or women, that get with other races and feel like they are getting a one-up just because it's another race. I'll give them that. But you can't just base that off anybody that talks to another race that that's how they feel. Because clearly if LeBron James' son grew up in this household around all black people, but still had chemistry with a white woman enough to go to prom with her, he clearly just probably liked the woman. That don't mean they gonna be together forever. He could've just be like, damn, she look good and I wanna take her to prom. It's so many other factors. I'm pretty sure LeBron James' son not thinking as deep about it. Oh yeah, I got a white woman, I got a one up. Understand that snow bunny fever is a real issue in the black community. I understand that a lot of our black male celebrities have snow bunny fever. Somebody sent me a picture of Jamie Foxx all over some white girl. Okay. These black men are role models to our sons. Celebrities do not get a pass from Dr. Umar Ifatunde. These black men are role <laughs> models to our sons. He they, found what? they are influencing the way the next generation of black men will behave. And for the most part, they are very responsible. Very responsible. Shannon Sharp, very responsible. Okay? LeBron James, very responsible. Jalen Rose, very responsible. Stephen A. Smith, very responsible. I have nothing to say negative about the way in which those gentlemen live their lives and carry on their business. Very successful black men. I'm glad to see them in those positions. But what I cannot condone, what I will not approve, I will not validate, and I nor will I turn a blind eye to black male celebrities who promote white women in front of black women. I will not support it. I feel like I'm beating a dead horse here at this point, but because you are with a white woman, like clearly when you start making enough money, right? You at this top upper echelons, you feel me? Entertainment, athlete, your circle gonna be different. Now I'm not saying it's uh, not other black women that's at that level, but there's a smaller percent. There's a smaller percent of black women that's gonna be at that upper echelon of wealth. So your circle is gonna be filled with more white people, which means that you're gonna have a higher chance of being with a white person. Wow, math. But regardless of that, if these entertainers wanna go be with other races, let them do what they wanna do. The majority of people in their own races are still with their race. It's not like some overwhelming problem that's happening in the community. All the black people that feel like they getting a leg up because they with another race, they were gonna leave anyway. They, like they, <laughs> they were gonna find any other excuse to be with another race anyway. So it's not even like you really can change something. But to really sit here and act like this black young man going to prom with a white woman, it's such this huge issue and he has to be such a role model for all the other black kids because shit if these other black kids see Bronny go to prom with a white woman now they gonna want to copy the same thing and then eventually it's going the, the black race is gonna die out and get diluted that's crazy talk now this is not specifically for dr umar but the only time that this is a huge problem is when a black man is talking to a white woman. It's never the other way around. Nobody give a damn about Serena Williams talking to that white dude that on Reddit. No, nobody give a damn. Do your thing, girl. But as soon as a black man talk to a white woman, all hell breaking loose. This is why the black community is falling because the black man just run into white women and they don't respect the black woman. But when a shoe on the other foot, it's silence. Cause nobody give a damn. Black women wanna go talk to other races, they can do their thing. Black men not gonna be sitting here complaining. LeBron James was wrong. I don't give a damn if he don't like it or not. That boy had no business going on a prom with a white girl. And Why not? Snow bunny fever fraternity Negroes out there. You snow bunny fever fraternity Negroes out there coming up with excuses such as what he just said is the equivalent of when white people tell their own people that you're an n-word lover when they like to date or marry black people because he has no basis on why Bronny is with this white woman he only see black man and he see white woman he's al already making all of these assumptions like Bronny just a, a snow bunny lover what if lebron james son had like 
10 girlfriends so far and nine of them was black and this one time he take a white girl to prom now he's just a snow bunny lover he got snow bunny fever this is ridiculous he goes to a predominantly white school dr umar young Bronny goes to a predominantly white school so how can you expect him not to have a white prom date that's interesting because as a former principal and a former assistant principal and as someone who has been in schools for 25 years, I never knew that there was a prom rule that said you could only take a student from your school to the prom. Hey genius, if you're going to a school predominantly white, school is where you spend the majority of your time as a teenager. Of course, you're going to be more acquainted to the people that you're spending the most time with. And if you go into a predominantly white school, of course there's gonna be a way higher chance of you going to prom with a white woman. I don't understand where he getting lost in translation. So he has to go out of his way to try to find a black girl at another school just because it's a black girl. He can't just bond with the people he's spending the most time with. No, nope, can't do that. He can't just get a white woman because that's probably who he had the most chemistry with at the time. No, nope, can't do that. He got to go to a whole nother school to go find a black woman to bring the prom. Make it make sense. I've never known that there was a rule that says you can only take students from your school on the prom. That is a cop out. It is an excuse. No disrespect to the young prince. I'm simply saying that I reserve the right to disagree with black men who don't have a problem with other black men or their sons or their sons choosing white women over black women. If I had a son and my son took a white woman to prom, Hispanic woman to prom, Asian woman to prom, I wouldn't give a damn. All I would care about is why did you pick her right i just want to make sure that you didn't pick her or you ain't talking down on black women feeling like oh you got something better because of another race which more than likely raised in my household he wouldn't think like that but if he did i would have to confirm that and two is she treating you right are you treating her right that's all i would care about i don't care about him going to prom with another race i don't give a damn i want my son to pick the best woman for him i want my son to just have a woman that treat him right i don't care about the skin color do you want him to be with a black woman and not care how she treat him now i'm not saying that black women won't will treat him bad i'm just saying if it's a black woman that treats you the best by all means i will definitely be pro that my preference is black but that don't mean that i won't go outside my race i have have no problem i have no overwhelming incentive to just be with black women if i can't find one that suits my needs the best so my son will have free range to do whatever he want to do as long as he just get a woman that's good for him regardless of the race i just feel like it's so many black people that think like this it's so weird it's like why is it such a pressing issue we got so much other shit to worry about than a few little black people that's going to talk to other races like i don't get it how about we try to fix the culture first the thugs shouldn't be the ones that's getting raised up how about we stop calling the dudes that's good in school and getting good grades nerds and looking down on them a culture shift is way more important than this black man white woman thing look at these comments how should B0205. I love you, Dr. Umar, and we have to hold them accountable. Selling dope till the sun come down. Take a fuck nigga right off the map, off the map. When I hit him with this whole hundred round. Young jock in the club with my clock, with my clock. You wanna play it, then this bitch going down. Naja be at work doing everything but working. LOL. You are your mother's child. You can't make the shit up. You got a problem with LeBron James' son going to prom with a white woman, but your son is out here talking about walk him down. <laughs> This shit makes no sense. Gary Randy 12. I hope your kids do date white men. <laughs> if his kids end up dating a white person, I wouldn't be surprised if we see my boy Dr. Umar going to shoot up a white grocery store. Like, I would not be surprised in the least. This man will lose his mind. Oh, shit. We got T-string concept. What's the standard? What gives you the right to decide what is good for black peoples? What makes you think your opinion and approach is the best way? Who gave you the audacity well if you could have such audacity with anyone voting you to speak for black people 
then it means anyone in a black community can decide how they run or run their affairs. And that shouldn't be a problem, nigga. Continue with your agenda, but leave people alone. You know who? 122. Responding to the T-Strings concept. Dude isn't married to a black woman. Dude doesn't see his black kid. Dude has several women. So where is the black morality? He out there sleeping with black women city to city. Oh, this is so crazy to watch what we focus on. I couldn't agree more. Now, of course, I don't know if that's very I don't know if that's true or not. So take this with a grain of salt. However, if what was just stated is true, it's crazy how you can just get away with saying anything. If you pander to people emotions, you can do whatever you want. You can be speaking all this pro black shit at five white snow bunnies back at the crib, not marrying no black women, not taking care of your kids with the black woman and be doing your thing and then get online and pander. Black power. But hey, if y'all did enjoy this video, make sure y'all click that like and subscribe button to join the sec. We out.